video demonstrates how to create composite shapes. For example, if you have a sphere and a cuboid, you can combine them to make a composite shape. There are two ways to do this. One is using grouping and another using merging. Let's create two shapes. Let's say cuboid, and I'm going to choose 0.5 for the height, and then maybe a cylinder. Okay, let me move them away so you can see them. Let me rotate one of them. It's about say X axis. That's good enough. Okay, let me change the viewpoint. Pan. Okay, now let's, I'm going to try to move both of them up and drop them. So select both. Translate, move along the Z direction. Okay. Now that we have set it in this fashion, let us let us drop the objects by running the simulation. Okay, so you see that they fell down, one of them rolled away. Now what we're going to do is we're going to combine them by using a grouping operation. So for that, what you need to do is select both of them. So select one, hit the shift key and select the other one. Then go to edit, grouping and merging, group selected shapes. So what you see is in the scene hierarchy, it's actually showing as one block, cylinder block. And you can see there's the bounding box around it. So when you now run the simulation, you'll see that uh, they move as one unit. Now you can go back and unmerge it, or sorry, ungroup it. So that you need to go here to edit and say ungroup selected elements. And now if you run the same thing again, you'll see that it it behaves similar to what it was earlier. So the other operation is called merging. And so for that, we do the same thing. Select cylinder, hold the shift key, cl uh, click cuboid, go to edit, grouping merging. And here we see, say merge selected shapes. Okay. Now this operation is sort of uh, semi permanent. And I'll show you what that means. Uh, you see that cylinder, cuboid are shown by this uh, representation with a cuboid. You'll see that when you unmerge it, this will go. So let's say yes. And you see that this has changed to being from a from a cuboid to being a sort of like a pair. Uh, let's run this, and you see that it's actually moving around. It's the reason why it's moving is because there's this bounding shape which is now different for a merged object, and this bounding box basically interacts with the floor. And because it interacts, there is a collision, and that causes it to move. Okay, we did not see this effect when we had. I'll group the two items. You can stop this, play it again. Stop. And now we'll go and unmerge this. So go edit, uh, grouping merging, and say divide selected shapes. So when you when they were unmerged, you will see that here on the left side, we don't see that cube bar anymore. That is because now they have lost the identity as simple primitives and they've become this complex shape uh, using this property of merged elements. So now if you run that, behave a little bit differently because what has happened is this body, which is the shape, has been changed to being not dynamic and non-respondable. So we can change that by doing this trick, click on shape, go to show dynamic properties, say body is respondable, body is dynamic, and then run this. 